so you're having a problem with this phone it says your phone temperature is too low charging will continue when the temperature returns to normal well I'm in the process of doing a screen replacement as you can see and that's one of the issues that we are faced with with this phone and it's gonna keep coming on and on and on and on right the phone is currently on but there's a problem here i do recommend unplugging your screen when the device is on but if you're doing so you want to make it quickly the screws as you can see and i'm wondering what can create that issue because it can either be a charging port issue or a motherboard sensor or something look at that so i'm going to go and try and open the phone Okay, there's one screw that I miss and you always have to keep an eye out and when you feel any pressure observe okay so it should be out but there's a problem with this port yeah it's it's stuck it is stuck so we'll have to take this out it's stuck so yeah charging port time let me see if i can take a look at it on the inside what do i see what do i see can this be the problem why we are getting that uh, error message but it, it's actually looking very very bad yeah it's, it's looking very very bad so uh, what I'm gonna do I'm going to try and unplug the battery sometimes it's for this model it's kind of hard so yeah guys you have to remove this battery so we remove the power from the board all you have to do basically is to just push just push take your time and just push the battery will come right out so you remove the battery now we have to remove the motherboard and there should be some screws there should be one here it's not there but there's one screw here you want to remove this one so that's removed and the motherboard should remove easily and we were successful in doing so apparently one it seems like this one was worked on before as you can see the flux that is on the motherboard yeah there are flux that is on the motherboard so we're going to replace this charging port and see if we can fix that issue right so i'm just gonna go quickly and remove this port it should come off very easily so it's gonna be 400 degrees heat i'm going to be using sometimes when you use this amount of heat you have to be careful that you don't damage any other component on the board and that is what is so risky about this job um there are a lot of small components around even under the motherboard 
and when you heat if you move the board while walking that as well can take them off so when you finish taking off this you want to let the motherboard cool down so if it happens that any component got heat and got soldered and got resoldered you want to allow it to dry as if you move the motherboard you can move the component from off of its current location so by now it should dry can still be a bit tender I actually seen a little thing came off there and that's flux so let's have a look at the motherboard let's have a look and there are a lot of there are indeed a lot of small components right at the back of it and that's why you have to be careful uh, here we have the microphone and there are some small components at the back I believe this one is a fast charging sensor so I'm going to go and look for one of those port and we are going to resolder we are going to put on the new port and then we are going to test the motherboard so what I'm going to be doing I have the charging port here and we have a new port here and I can either use some low melt solder but if we heat this up we should be good we should be good actually if we just heat this on melt up the old solder on the motherboard we should be good I just want you to notice the position in which I have the motherboard as well so I'm gonna be holding this for a couple seconds just to, to a minute or two and you want this thing to really dry okay, if it doesn't dry then it will cause the port to solder in a position that you do not want it to be soldered so you want it to dry and you want the solder to cure in the place where the port is supposed to be So I just lift it gently and okay let's just have a look the first thing we're gonna be noticing we're gonna be we are going to be looking at the back pins because we want those to be soldered properly to be looking at the motherboard itself and that's what a charging port should look like basically uh, so my only concern is the pins at the back and to be honest with you guys i believe that it can work that way without any problem but it may not last as long as i would want it to last when the, when the owner of the phone put in the charging port a few times these ports these pins at the back can get slack and it can really cause 
it really caused uh, things to get messed up. If these pins get charged, you can see that. Yeah, definitely so. We have some old flux around. And whoever did this board should have cleaned up properly. This is the name of it. I'm gonna be using some of this Amtec um, flux and this one is it's actually cancerous but that's not what I want to tell you I want to tell you that this one is a no clean flux you do have to really clean anything much but just a little warning it says it may contain lead this product contain chemical known as state of california yeah it can cause cancer but defects and you know the rest so anytime that things are soldered there properly Look at the pins. Yeah, when I put the light on, you're not seeing, you know, the solder as you should. But it's soldered properly. And I just need to clean this up, ensure that no flux are inside the port, and then we can proceed. And also, too much heat inside. Too much heating of the port as well can damage the plastic inside of the port. So that's another thing for you newbies. So guys, I just went ahead, put back in all the screws. And we are going to just test the device now to see if, you know, it's charging or it's working differently than the issue that we had. These ports are normally fragile. And when you're soldering them, they can easily come back off. So you have to ensure that you solder. There are two screws as well to support the motherboard. Let me just show you. So there are two screws, which is these two screws here. If you have a look, I think I can zoom in. So if you zoom in, you can see the two screws there. Those support the port but what we want to see here is if the device is charging properly I will have to check I will have I will have to pause the video because the this battery is depleted it's dead and it will it may take a while before the phone comes on I'm sure of it but so far the meter is looking lovely and it's saying that it is charging so i just give it a few minutes and then i'll resume the video so guys i can successfully say that uh we fix this phone with the issue we were having and the phone is actually charging it took about a good half an hour uh for it to come on you can see it says seven percent and about four hours until fully charged so we were successful in getting this one fixed and if you're new to my channel you know what to do and i'll see you in the next one